what's up you guys welcome back to the channel so today i am reviewing outre perfect hairline laurel in the color 1b this unit seems like it's got a lot of bounce and layers in it and it seems like it's about 24 26 inches or so so this is the inside of the cap it does have a fake scalp in it and it also has two combs in the front an elastic band a comb in the back and it also has the adjustable straps so it's really adjustable this is in collaboration with my girl faith aka still looking good 58 this is part of her winter wigs and wardrobe series that she's doing for december please check out her channel after you finish watching this video she gives such excellent and thorough reviews from the perspective of the mature woman as she would say not to mention she has such a nice chill laid back personality and she has her own headband line. So check her out once you finish watching this video. So I feel like this wig being in 1B definitely gives us a better view of the fake scalp and whether or not you wanna wear it or not. I'm testing it out right now. So you guys can see number one, what it looks like before I do anything to it if I have to, and also see what that fake scalp looks like if you were to leave it in there. I personally don't care for the fake scalp being in there because it gives me that line of demarcation. Like because the wig is so well pre-plucked, you can easily see where like the fake scalp is and that's just not for me. I don't think it's the end of the world. I do think if you were to put makeup in the part that you have, like concealer or something, you can probably disguise it well enough, but I don't typically care for it. In situations like these where the wigs are super well pre-plucked, I use a black cap or you can do a ball cap. We've got our handy dandy seam ripper so we can bust the seams out of this unit without ripping a hole in the lace. Take your time, go slow. We do not wanna rip a hole in our lace. There is nothing worse than that. And I mean like nothing worse than that. Oh, I almost forgot to mention y'all, this is HD transparent lace. I like to cut my fake scalp off pretty close to that seam line where it is. I don't know if I just made up seam line, but I try to get real close to that. You don't have to get as close as I'm getting if you're uncomfortable, do what works for you, but this is the difference that it makes. I did tint the lace with my Ebon New York, uh, I think it's light warm brown color, and it's pretty much like run its course. Like I need to get a new one ASAP because it was hard to get this wig tinted. But we got there. Now, because I really didn't want a whole lot of baby hair or anything, I plucked out that first line, which was basically, you know, the line of baby hair. Took that right out, so that way when I push the hair back, it looks more like a real hairline. I brushed out the curls just to get the shedding out of the hair that was left from when I plucked it. And I noticed the curls seem to still stay in place so far. Like, you know, sometimes if you brush it out, then it can kind of get loose. This so far did not get loose when I first brushed it. And it is just giving everything it was supposed to give. Like, I don't know if I want a middle part or if I want to do like a deep side part or something like that. Like this wig, I don't know, but I'm loving this style already. Like, it is so cute. For now, I'm just gonna push this back so we can get into installing the wig. Then I'll decide how I wanna wear the hair. This unit gives full ear to ear coverage. None of my hair near my sides had to be left out. And if you watch my channel, you already know sometimes, a lot of times, I really struggle with that part. Like my hair is always sticking out of the frontal on the sides. Not with this one though. For this install process, I'm actually mostly using the high insta hold spray, but on the sides, I did use some of my uh, got to be glued in the yellow bottle, and that's just for so, like a longer lasting hold. Now, um, I've been using my fingers all up in this video. Like, don't do that. Get a comb, like a rat tail comb or something. Don't be all up in it with your fingers, especially if you're new to this because your fingers have oil in it, and that's what makes your products turn like really white. <laughs> Don't forget to press that lace into the product so you can get a really nice melt. Side note, do you see how well I got the color right on this lace tint? Like, is the lace even there? I barely see it. Now, before I cut off the lace, I do kind of want the wig 
semi dry i don't want to cut off the lace and it still be wet because then it's just gonna slide back on me it's not gonna stay in place it's just gonna cause me problems so while this isn't my full drying process it is like i'm drying it enough to where i can cut the lace off like you see me doing right now and don't forget move your scissors up and down slightly to create a jagged cut you do not want a straight across cut it makes it way more obvious that you're wearing a wig when you do it like that after i cut the lace off then i moved on to my elastic band and i just let it dry the rest of the way with the elastic band on Clearly, I decided to roll with the middle part. I just felt like even though the side part looked like it could be something too, I did a side part last Perfect Hairline video, so I was like, let's put it in the middle this time. So I did notice that this unit is a bit of a tangler, so with me having to constantly brush it out a bit, it did make the curls start to fall. And to me, that's not a huge deal, but if you're the type of person that really likes to keep like the integrity of the way the curls come out of the package, that is something you would need to note. It tinted out so easy. I did a few touch-ups where I thought it was light, but for the most part, like this lace was on point. I did use heat a little bit to flatten this one down in the middle part so it would be like really flat. And I also took some setting foam as well to help me keep it flattened down. <music> This wig was actually a pretty easy put down. Like it's, I think it's pretty beginner friendly if you're just getting into frontals. Um, I did add some baby hair, just two little sides of it. I don't think you actually need it at all, but I told y'all in my Jelani video, I never know if I want to have baby hair or not. And I never want to chance it when I play it back on camera. So I'm adding just a little bit of baby hair. I'm using some setting foam and my edge brush. And then I like to kind of seal it into place so it don't move with my holding spray. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Doing some finishing touches before we get into the winter wardrobe. I wanted to do a cute chic tracksuit for you guys, but it didn't come in in time. So I'm giving y'all clueless casual is what I want to call it. But yes, so that's the finishing touches and the hair turns out so good. Watch out for the tangling, but my goodness, like this wig looks amazing. And the texture is great too. It's giving like medium yakky, I would say. All right, y'all, let's get into this wardrobe. So I pulled out my clueless casual look that shared Dion on the way to school look that is very, very accurate on how I dress when you say come casual. I'm, I'm just one of those people like that and I'm extra. But then my tracksuit that I wanted to show y'all, it's my new exercise fit for the gym. Came in and this is how, this is basically my dress down style is loungewear and all that. I really love how this hair can go with any look, whether you wanna dress it up, dress it down, whatever you wanna do, it's so cute. If you're interested in this unit, I will have the T down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye.